Hello everyone, myself Nayani Kabubu and I have secured All India Rank 9 in this year's uh, AIWAPG GRF examination in Plant Sciences Modeling. And I have completed my BSc in Agriculture degree from Vidhan Chandra Kishi Vishu with Dalai West Bengal with an overall AGPA of 8.97 out of 10. And I have cleared CVTPG with 281 marks, also secured third rank in BCKV MSc entrance in Plant Sciences module. Now, let us divide the Plant Science subject into major and ma minor groups as I have already divided in the PPT, you uh, all can see. So, uh, at first, let us de uh, decide why should you choose Plant Sciences module. Um, from my perspective, if you have interest in basic sciences, then you should obviously go for Plant Sciences module. Because this subject is mainly conceptual and concept based and so you don't have to memorize all of the things but in plant pathology subject and seed science and technology few portions you have to memorize but the main subject that is genetics and plant breeding is totally concept based and you have to understand those. So now uh, let me share with all of you my preparation strategy. I have started my preparation from fourth semester of UG classes and you should at least uh, start your preparation from third year onward because plant science is a very fast mo uh, module and you have to complete all of the subjects within uh, in one and a half to two years. And for genetics subject, at first you have to study the genetics from fundamentals of genetics by B.D. Singh and then you should go for the genetics book by the same author. But you should uh, thoroughly practice the objective genetics book by B.K. Prasad and B.D. Singh. And I have uh, studied few portions of molecular genetics from molecular biology of the gene written by Watson. And Hari Prashad sir suggested us to uh, study few portions of the molecular uh, genetics from the Snapstat book and I have also followed that. And after that, the video lectures made by Hari Prashad sir and the aggregative class notes which are very much compact and understandable in and written in easy language helped me a lot to uh, go through all of the portions like Mendelian genetics, molecular genetics and the quantitative genetics also. And the numerical sessions conducted by agri Addict are very much uh, helpful and to the point in exam point of view because in the higher level of numericals uh, from quantitative or other portions don't come in exam but Hari Prashad sir have uh, compacted all the uh, numericals in a uh, few videos and um, that helped me a lot and you can also go through some of the examples of those videos which are available in, in, in YouTube and uh, you would get access to all of the videos if uh, you only take the master's course then um, you go for plant breeding uh, for the plant breeding subject at first you should study the plant breeding from essentials of plant breeding or fundamentals of plant breeding written by Fundansin. Both of the books are both and written in very understandable and short uh, and short way. And you should then go for plant science principles and methods by BDC. At first uh, try reading the essentials of plant breeding because uh, uh, the plant breeding principles and methods by BDC have um, Retain all of the things in a very vast way and it would help you to understand the concepts of uh, plant breeding. As we all know that plant breeding is the application of genetics. So uh, you should go to field and uh, see the anthesis or the emasculation process. Like the practical knowledge you should gain to understand the plant breeding in a very good way. Uh, and um, for that thing uh, you should also uh, know the fertilization method and the micro gametogenesis, mega gametogenesis of which all are written in a very well manner in all of the books and for resistance breeding uh, everyone face, um, uh, faces some problem in this uh, and uh, because in BDC book it is uh, written in very vast way but I would suggest you uh, to go for essentials of plant breeding by Pundan Singh because in this uh, book the so, uh, sources of the germplasm used or uh, the genes controlled by monogenic or polygenic or oligogenic reaction and um, which varieties are released uh, and which are resistant to uh, or resistant to which uh, biotic or abiotic problems now those are written in a very well manner and for objective you should go for the Mike Prasad and medicine book and the last book you can suggest for 
इकोनॉमिक वोट फ्यू पोर्शंस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक वोट एनी एंड द नेक्स्ट मेजर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द प्लान पैथोलॉजी यू ऑल शुड स्टार्ट विथ फंजे बैक्टेरिया एंड वायरसेज बाई एच सी दुबे बिकॉज दिस बुक्स गिव अ वेरी गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ प्लान पैथोलॉजी एंड देन यू शुड स्टडी इन शुड स्टडी द ऑब्जेक्ट इज फ्रॉम प्लान पैथोलॉजी एट अ ग्लान्स बाई उत्पल कुमार भट्टाचार्य आई पार्सनली लाइक दिस बुक वेरी मच बिकॉज सो मेनी गुड एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर इन दिस बुक इन एट वन प्लेस यू डोंट हैव टू कलेक्ट फ्रॉम हियर एंड देयर एंड आई हैव स्टडीड द फ्यू पोर्शन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर प्लान पैथोलॉजी एंड लाइक द जीन फॉर जीन हाइपोथिस इट्स एट्सेट्रा फ्रॉम दैट प्लान पैथोलॉजी बाय जॉर्ज एग्रियोस एंड आई हैव I have studied the control methods uh, from plant pathology by R S Singh, but I wouldn't suggest you to go for this book because uh, this book is very vast related to uh, our J R F, um, our uh, P G J R F, and I have also referred the N G and the P D F for fundamentals and disease portion. The diseases of agricultural field crops and horticultural crops are written in this book in a very well manner. and the class notes from my ng professor and from agri addict team helped me a lot because they have also collected um, so many things at one place and virology handbook given by our professor i have also followed that portion for virology uh, like that acquisition period or inoculation period uh, uh, for those things and the virus vector relationship you should definitely study in a uh, very well uh, written manner because the uh, single stranded genome virus is the double stranded genome virus is which virus is known as genetic engineer like these questions or which is transmitted by mini virus like the special type of questions you should keep in your mind and the um, previous year question paper uh, solved by agriatic team uh, helped us a lot to uh, to prepare for that and um, the important questions and those are also available in youtube for free you can also refer those for the next subject it is seed science and technology i have studied the whole book of pk agarwal and uh, few portions from ratanlal agarwal book and for objective book the, you can follow the rangana ki objective seed science and tech but uh, in this book many answers are uh, wrong because uh, so you should cross check that and i have also referred all of my ng class notes um, and the study material provided by hari prashad sir those are very much compact very much useful because in uh, because in uh, no book i could find the proper and right isolation distance because in one book it is written 100 and another book it is written 50 so it's very much confusing but uh, in uh, agriatic class book it is written in uh, a very well manner and you can understand and know all of the right informations and um, uh, you should uh, follow the seed science and technology at a glance book uh, for few of the questions like uh, from uh, for seed processing also and uh, you should follow the icr.org.in i have uh, collected informations uh, from this website like uh, which um, organizations uh, and which people are responsible uh, for release of reader seat or uh, foundation or um, certified seat uh, like this uh, on these questions and the agriatic study material is very very much helpful for seed science and technology note and the last major subject that is the microbiology i would suggest like everyone that is the an introduction to microbiology by toro and kapoor the first and uh, first five and last five uh, ch- uh, chapters but definitely from the previous edition of book uh, in new edition of book it is in a very um, crude, complex manner and i have followed the ng ranga microbiology notes and my ng class notes for that uh, uh, for this uh, subject and um uh you should f- follow the nitrogen cycle the um, phosphorus cycle and the other mineral cycles for that uh, um, topic because in the microorganisms involved in each stage and the um nutrition manner and the mode of nutrition that is also a chapter of plant pathology and few portions are common with microbiology so uh, you should definitely know that which microorganism belong to which group 
uh, and uh, the mode of nutrition of them and uh, the uh, symbiotic or non-symbiotic microorganisms, the microaerophyte microorganism like these questions and medical and dairy microbiology you don't have to uh, study in a vast manner you just know the sci name of the scientist like Koch's postulate and who is the father of pure culture technique like these type of questions and um, I would suggest you to go for previous year question and the most important question and uh, and these are also available in YouTube video of Agri Addict and a uh, few questions are common f from the previous year and this happened in our uh, examination also so uh, I wouldn't suggest you to go in a very vast manner for microbiology uh, but you should definitely study all of the things very minutely. And for the minor subject bio biochemistry, you should study the carbohydrate and water. I have referred the Leninger principles of biochemistry, but I would not suggest you to go for this book because it is written in a very vast manner. And you can uh, follow any YouTube video lecture or other uh, websites. And from carbohydrate, you should know all of the monosaccharide, the oligosaccharide, the polysaccharide, the cellulose, etc. Uh, like this type of things and in a very selected manner and you should have a general idea of biochemistry for this and um, uh, for plant physiology I have referred uh, the NCRT of class 11 biology because the uh, photosynthesis chapter is enough from this book and for respiration I have uh, followed the video lectures from YouTube and uh, some other online lectures and um, uh, you should know all of the stages of uh, aerobic and anaerobic respiration and which microorganism on which things belong to uh, which class of respiration like this type of question and how much molecule of ATPs are uh, produced in each stage like this type of question but you have to um, know uh, one thing that and the questions from biochemistry and plant physiology or from economic botany like from the minor subject um, don't know don't think that the portions written in this PPT uh, we, uh, would come only from this question, uh, from this portion, but question can come um, based on your concepts. To the, so try to win their concepts uh, without only memorizing that uh, topics. And the next one is general agriculture as everyone. The Nimra Sunda and Anun Kartan book uh, I would refer. And I would um, tell you that you. Uh, don't have any preparation for general agriculture, then you should go for Arun Kartan because it is uh, written in an understandable, uh, understandable manner. But I would suggest you to um, follow the UG classes of your university or college because uh, I have followed the classes in a very uh, well and attentive manner for, from my first semester. And uh, so uh, I have gathered the, uh, some very uh, basic knowledge of agriculture and from that you can also solve most of the 90% questions in GRF examination and you shouldn't go for in a very thorough manner for Nimna Sunda book because uh, many uh, questions like oh, which come in AFO examination or for other general agriculture examination uh, don't come to GRF so you uh, try to understand the science in agriculture without only memorizing it and for CVT PG, you should definitely follow the Nimrat Sundar book because many questions uh, came from Nimrat Sundar book directly. And the uh, uh, next two books that is I have um, uh, mentioned as other important books like the Instant Plant Science and Agriculture Current Affair. Uh, uh, both of the books are from New Michelle Publication. And I would suggest you the first book before revision in um, uh, for revision before your examination and the Current Affairs book. And this book, uh, you should cross check the um, name of the director and chairman before going for your examination because we see our one question claim as who is the chairman of ASRB, uh, that is Agriculture Scientist Recruitment Board. And in our you know, book, it was written as Dr. Himamshu Prasad, but I, uh, but, uh, and I marked, his, uh, ad, uh, marked it as Himanshu Prasad, but after uh, coming back to Rome, I checked it and uh, the chairman was uh, changed by that time so you should check because after publication the names might get changed so uh, try studying in a very uh, understandable manner without only uh, thinking about getting a good rank uh, study from your heart and i definitely know that you would get a good rank and lastly i would like to thank my parents my professors my friends for constant support and 
आई वुड लाइकली एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक टीम एग्री एडिट for uh, giving me the uh, video lecture series and the compact notes and the seed science technology notes and the um, numerical sessions of genetics and the compact notes of genetics and like the previous year questions who the uh, we the most important question and though uh, and the series of videos which are very much helpful and um, the main usp is like the uh, they are constant cooperation whenever you text them uh, that you want to know something uh, and uh, they would reply you and that is the uh, most beautiful thing about them and i would really um, want to congratulate all of my friends who have secured a good rank in uh, grf and those uh, who have tried you know, from their heart and uh, thank you uh, hope you all are doing well uh, all the best for your future thank you